us. Um, if we discuss the right at the start of the game, you obviously made a, a positive impression within a couple of minutes. Stole the ball, drove up the pitch, you created an own goal. Um, just talk us through that bit of play for us. Uh, just an interception from myself, and I saw a lot of green grass in front of me, which I, I stepped into, and I didn't receive no pressure, so I just kept going and going. And then I tried to cross it to Silva, but crossed it and it ended up resulting in an own goal. So. Must have been a, a good feeling for you either way to, to get us off to, to such a good start. Yeah. Early on in the game as well. How is that role for you on the obviously the, the wing back role similar to, to how Jacko's doing? You have to tuck in sometimes, you have to push forward sometimes. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of ground to cover for you too. Yeah. Uh, you come off the, the pitch knackered every every game. Um, are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, I've always enjoying it. Uh, regardless of where I play, I just want to play. It's, phys it's physically demanding, just like any other position on the pitch. But it's just part of what we do. The, the past few games, you, you seem to have been really settling into the sort of system and, and idea that, that Darren wants to play. Um, what's that relationship like between you and the gaffer? Are you starting to, to get on board and understand more the, the way he wants to set us up and play? Yeah, uh, he's always encouraging me uh, to be confident in my in my abilities and stuff like that. Sometimes I do feel like I not necessarily, I'm not confident, but I just feel like sometimes I don't do what I can do. It's yeah. nice to have that encouragement then from him just to, to push you a little bit, even when you know you, you might not have it in you to, to push yourself a bit yeah. more. He just unlocks that in you, maybe. Yeah, and it's always nice coming from some the manager like supporting you, telling you that he believes in you. So, yeah. It, it must be good for you as well, because it's, it's only recently, if we really think about it, that you've made that step up from the B team into the first team. You're still quite new in that environment. It must give you a little bit of confidence that he has that belief in you. Uh, yeah, a lot of confidence. It's a, it's a hard transition. Uh, physically, technically, every, in every aspect, it's a hard transition to make. But I feel like every day, my teammates are helping me get better and better. So it must help you that there's a, a few boys in that same position because Jacko's been playing well on on the other side, just the same as you in in almost a an opposite role on the other side of the pitch. Yeah, uh, it's always nice to have people that are in the same position as me. So I feel like I'm I'm not alone. But Regardless if no one was in that position, I still feel, feel like I'm alone because of the, the group of players that we have. Brilliant. Um, obviously, the game didn't end the way we wanted it to end. Um, it's got in right at the end. What was the, the mood of the boys um, as it came off? Uh, probably showed a, a bit of disappointment in the change room because we had the three points there and we, we let it slip in the last like minute or two. So it's disappointing, yeah. Is it important that obviously we'll we'll feel this pain right at this moment in time, but maybe in a day, maybe in a couple of days, um, when we think back on the week as a whole, if you look at Southampton and how good they are, you look at going to Sunderland and, and how tough that can be, coming here to a team that are desperate for points as well at home, yeah. um, to come up through that three-game period in such a short amount of time with all the travelling and everything we've done undefeated, mm. kind of shows that we, we're kicking on, we're doing a bit better, we've got a bit of confidence in ourselves again. Yeah, it's been a very good week. Um... Five points in three games, which is is, is decent if you want to look at it from that from that perspective. Uh, I feel like in every single game we put in a good shift, even if we're on the back foot, we can be dug in as a group and got results, which is what we needed. It kind of speaks to your by standards, doesn't it? The fact that you've had that good week, but you've come off here uh, disappointed and angry that it isn't three points. You, you wanted more, you won't really settle for, for less than that. Yeah, it just shows... Uh, standard of the group, what we what we want to achieve, uh, what we expect from ourselves and when we let it slip in the last minute, it kind of does feel like a loss, even though it was a draw. You've got a, a few days now to, to try and get your bodies recovered. Uh, we've got a week now until the next game, thankfully. And back at home, uh, back at the John Smith Stadium against Bristol City. Um, it's nice after two long away games to, to go home and, and have those supporters there waiting for us, isn't it? Yeah, so it's nice to go back to the John Smith after being on the, on the road. So, do they give you a, a bit of encouragement then, especially when you, you see them managing to make this trip in no, this weather here as well? All, all, always, always, always encouraging from, from them when we're at home. They're always behind us, so just, just want more of that, that's it. Excellent. Jaheem, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.